snake. So what's the meal for tonight, Daniel? Chicken fried rice. Chicken fried rice. Mm -hmm. This is the first morning of being back at home and I'm really happy. I just remember as soon as I landed on the plane like I was just shedding tears looking out the window just I could feel that I was home again. My intentions while I'm here is to just take everything very slowly and be present because I haven't been present the last couple of months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how it's rough. It's like pockmarks almost. Mm -hmm. Good texture. Good flavour. Good texture. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Daniel? Mm. What do you think of the flavours? Well, not normally a fan of banana, but in here I am. Mm -hmm. Dad, what are your thoughts on the back? The stack? Pretty good. Not quite a traditional crumpet, but pretty damn good all the same. <laughs> that is freaky to me. The hole in there. Where? Oh, that freaks me out. I have a trypophobia tracker. What is it called? And like a fear, fear of hole. several different holes uh. to get. Ooh, that freaks me out. My, my toes are curling just looking at that. It looks like alien. Just. can't decide on my color I just found the remote to my sister's LED lights and I'm having too much fun oh that's cool so it's day two of being back home and my mind is already so much clearer <laughs> the thing I love about coming to my dad's place is that he lives more in the nature 
part of Durban, like in Kloof, it, it's just a whole lot of just trees everywhere and it's quiet and there's no noise pollution at all, you know. Sometimes I just feel like there's so much to do in so little time and like so many people to see and things, but I need to just take things slow because if I try and meet everyone's expectations, I'm just going to feel like I didn't have time to relax when I come when I was home. So So today is the last day I'm at my dad's house. Uh, I will say I'm really sad to leave just because I love how quiet this area is. Nature's always been something that's really important to me in terms of mental health and I know now <laughs> I'm really excited to see my mom but she lives more in the city side so there's a bit less green but I'm gonna see more family so I'm happy about that. I'm looking forward to her cooking um, home cooked meals and things um, oh last night the Jake Paul and Tommy fight I will say I'm a little bit underwhelmed I thought there was gonna be a knockout because I was convinced Tommy was all well, both of them were all talk but Tommy was all talk saying like I'm gonna knock you out in the first round or whatever so I was waiting for a knockout but there could be a rematch there could be a rematch I used the Neutrogena Hydra Boost line in the gel cream the eye cream and the sunblock This painting, um, I drew this when I was like, I must have been like nine or ten. Um, but I, yeah, it's just been around for so long. And I really appreciate that he incorporated it with the rest of the art in the house. Look at this thing. It makes, I think it's a cow noise or a sheep. Sounds like a cow. Do that. Oh. So today is the last day I'm going to be at home, and 
not. It's bittersweet. It's more bitter than sweet. This time that I was able to spend with family has been amazing. It was definitely well needed. Yeah, and I'm just trying to stay positive for the future and do things that are better for my happiness and myself and not get lost in the hustle. So I think it can be so easy to just keep grinding, grinding, grinding and you just forget to stop and look around you and be present in the moment. Um, and to also like look after yourself as well is also important. And I think that's something that I've neglected. So this time has allowed me to reflect a bit and reevaluate how my routine has been, how I've been living and how my thought patterns have been as well. Say hi, George. Hello. 